Good people, welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. We're gonna do an Irish reel called Cooley's Reel today. And my grand master plan is to do three Irish reels, um, teach them in separate lessons, and then teach a lesson on how to play sets of tunes. So we'll do a, a set of reels, show you how you can practice it, how you can put it together, and give you some practice material for that. That'll be further down the line once we've done this, these three reels in separate lessons. So here we go. As usual with Fiddlehead, I'm gonna play the whole thing and then break it down part by part, note by note for you. Play it a little bit faster to start. Okay, so let's get started. Kitty's coming by. Kitty! Say hello. Oh, I just missed him. Hey, buddy. Okay. I'm one of those weird cat people that you hear about. Um, okay, so here we go. You know, there's people where you can buy, buy them cat stuff. I, you know, you give them like Christmas present and something with a cat in it. Actually, I'm not at that stage yet. I kind of want to avoid that. All right, here we go. Cooley's reel. Um, it's in the key of D, so it means you can practice with the D major scale. But it uses the minor mode without getting too much into theory in the, at this point, this moment. You can, it, the same notes can be, you can, you can create an E Dorian scale, which gives it the minor sound, starting D1. It's actually a good idea to practice both those alternating, okay? So as a warm-up, I'm going to suggest that. All right, so let's get going. The first quarter of the A part. So we're going to start with D1 to A1. So this is actually kind of challenging. One way to do it that I play is I hold my first across both D and A strings. Just practice that a little bit. One of the challenging things of this tune, you may want to just pause and practice that a bit if it's uncomfortable. Okay, I think that'll pay off that you took the time to do that. Um, so I'm just going to continue showing you what happens. D1 to A1. By the way, if you don't hold your first finger across both, it's fine. You can lift it and place it again. However, when it's the tune speeds up, Later down the line, when you're playing tunes faster, it might make it harder to play faster. Okay, so let's keep going. D1 one, one to A1 twice. Then open one. Just listen and play along with that. Good. And then we're going to do D1 to A1 twice again. So we have from the beginning. Already sounds pretty cool. I could just sit there and play that for a long time. I just think it sounds so mysterious. All right, now we're gonna go on A, open one, three, one. And keep going down to A, D, three. You can do that whole bit. Again. First part of this was then the 
let's do it all together. Okay, good. Um, let's loop it maybe twice in a row. Cool. I recommend you pause in the video and do that even more. It's a key part. This quarter, this first quarter, is also pretty much the third quarter. So if you get this down, you know half the A part. All right, so let's move on and do the second quarter of the A part. A little more flow. So this part sounds more complicated than it is. Basically you're playing notes and alternating them with open D. So you're going 2, D2, open D, open A, open D, A1, open D, open A, open D. Let's do that much again. So basically, if you take away those open Ds, it's kind of cool to hear you. what's happening. The basic melody is. You hear that? Now see if you can hear that when we add back those alternating open Ds. So this happens a ton in Irish music. In fact, I think this is a really key part for this tune and for learning Irish tunes in general, especially reels. So let's loop on this now. Okay, good. So let's move on to um, what happens next in the tune. Let's see here. Um, yeah. So the next bar is going to be, it's going to start the same, but then go A1, open, D3, D2. So we're going to do the whole second half of the second quarter. All right. Now let's do the whole second quarter very slowly. Good. The third quarter, let's do that. And as I play it, notice how it's very similar to the first, but it ends different. Lee. Ends different. Lee. With more flow. So basically the different part is at the very end we're going to go open E, 1, low, 2. Whereas at the end of the first quarter we went um, 1 on A, open D3. And basically those endings uh, lead you to a different place. That's why they're different, alright, because we're going to a different place. Alright, so um, now I think I'm just going to do the entire fourth quarter of the A part. All right, so with more flow, E3 one open. Then A, two, three, one, open. 
and all on D. Two, open, one, two, open, one. More slowly. Okie dokily, I'm now going to play the entire thing slowly. If anything at all in this, any quarter or smaller part you can't, don't quite have, I strongly recommend pausing the video, practicing that part, reviewing each part right now. Okay, so now we're going to do the B part, and before we start, I want to give you um, kind of a rhythmic exercise to practice. So basically when we do tunes, we can make up exercises to help us. Um, so the, the thing I want you to practice is this, um, open E to A, I'll just play it a few times. It's a rhythm that involves two eighth notes and then that triplet. If you get this and can speed it up, then the, this tune will, the, will come easily, especially the first and third quarter of the B part, okay? So I recommend that you pause the video and practice that little rhythm right now. So here is the first quarter of the B part. With more flow. So there's your pickup notes, E low two one, and then and then the real core of this uh, part is open E to A one, then the triplet on A one. So that's basically that rhythm I had you warm up with, but we're going to A one instead. Got it. So. It's Let's loop on that, that's a key part. Okay, so um, I think the rest of it is fairly self-explanatory. I'm just gonna move on now and do uh, the second quarter of the B part. with more flow. So it's kind of similar to the second quarter of the A part, some string crossing, but I'm just gonna break it down a little bit. Um, starts open A with a quarter note or long note. Okay, and then we're gonna do D2, A, So here, sometimes this is called a pedal note, note I believe, or pedal, um, where you, the A open A is the pedal that you return to. I'm not sure, I'll have to look that up. I sh should know these things before I talk about them. All right, and again, it's, it's different than what we did in the second quarter, but you can see how it's similar. You have a little melody that's alternating with an open string. I 
I think with the tabs, that's fairly self-explanatory. Third quarter of this tune, of the B part, is the same as the first. Except a different ending. All right. And this ending is the same as the third quarter of the A part, all right? And then where is it going? It's going to the fourth quarter of the B part, which is um, the same as the fourth quarter of the A. So what I'm going to do is um, just play for you, review for you the fourth quarter of, of both parts right now. I'm going to play the third quarter into the fourth so you can see how they fit together. Alright, now we'll just do the entire B part very slowly, alright? It's a good and fun and challenging tune. I'm proud of you for making it this far. Let's do it. But we're going to play it very slowly. Here we go. All right, congratulations for making it to the end. Whether or not you've got this tune yet, your persistence will pay off. And I'm, I'm, this was a fun lesson for me. I really loved teaching it, this tune. It was really, I, le I learn stuff when I teach cool tunes to cool people. All right, see you next time.